Hi everyone, welcome to Eden's Secret. You might think you're seeing things today uh, because I'm actually going to use the same colours that I used yesterday. But this time I'm going to put more olive oil in there than one tablespoonful. I'm going to put two in each container. I mean, I'm saying it was yesterday. It was actually yesterday that I made the soap. Um, but you won't be seeing it for two days because I'm trying to upload a video every other day. These olive oil bottles from Sainsbury's do leak. Dribble, I mean. Not leak. which you probably noticed yesterday because I dribbled a lot all over the countertop, didn't I? And I thought I'd wiped it up, but I noticed when I was editing the video that I hadn't managed to get all of it up. And this is beautiful extra virgin olive oil here. It has that gorgeous deep yellow greeny colour right let's see if we can clean up this olive oil properly today shall we So this is actually a different white because I've run out with a white pearl. Now this, um, I think I got it from TBK Trading. It's a slightly pinky or lilac-y white. And our second colour is Aztec Gold. Aztec Gold works better in cold process than most of the lighter coloured golds. Um, you tend to find that you don't actually need as much of the Aztec Gold. Then we're using the fluorescent pink again from Mineral Makeup Ingredients. using the burlesque from You Make It Up and also some black oxide which I got from TBK Trading. Oh, I've got an extra container. Have I missed a colour? I must have only had five colours yesterday, did I? Yeah. So we'll pop that back in the olive oil bottle. So I've learned to stir in the colour first before we turn the mixer on. So I don't know if you can see that, it has a slightly lilac-y colour. You see this mixer has got three speeds so each time you turn it on it's going to do a different speed it's on the slow one there but 
you can just spin after you've uh, mixed it you see how powerful it is and now for the burlesque and the black oxide just turning it on after I've mixed just to spin as much colour off that hand blender as I can So the fragrance we're using today is pomegranate from Grace Root. Uh, it's a dupe of pomegranate noir. It has a medium speed to trace. Um, we're struggling a little bit because I haven't got a lot of larger jugs. Um, I need to get some actually because I haven't bought any for, for years and years and I really actually need some. So I've just, we've got five colours all together so this these two will be one colour and these two will be one colour and then I've got the three jugs so it'll be five colours all together. Uh, so we're just gonna I'm gonna mix in those colours separately. You won't see much difference with this one at all. Right, so next up we are going to add in the gold. I haven't added the fragrance yet I'm just going to add that last we're just going to add a little bit of the pink because I don't want it to be very bright I want it to be very pale actually I'm gonna add just a teeny teeny weeny bit more just about 10 drops there because it will lighten up quite a lot once it's saponified. Next we're 
next up is the burlesque now this one you need quite a bit of because it's not very doesn't have a great depth of colour do you notice I'm saying depth of colour instead of density now someone pulled me up on it and they said it's depth of colour not density so getting the technical terms correct I know I'm not brilliant with all of those I'm rubbish actually and then for the last one it's the black oxide so we're just adding all of that in there left in there I'll just use it all up Okay, so now we're going to add our fragrance. I'm just going to use the lid as a measure. You get about 10 mils in a litre lid. And it is a gorgeous fragrance this it's it's actually not fruity at all it's more peppery and um, if you're familiar with Jo Malone and um, there's a Jo Malone stand in any of the uh, department stores near you uh, go in and smell this one uh, that's how you'll find out what it smells like oh of course you can buy the soap to find out what it smells like So as you can see I'm just stirring in the fragrance with a whisk but I will blend it in with the hand blender as well. Because this uh, fragrance does speed up trace to what I would call a medium speed. for the black because I don't want to get the whisk black again 
because when you're washing up the black it does take some getting off so it's quite a good idea just to scrape as much off your jug as you can and your spoon and just leave it until the next day and then wash it off that way to blend all of them And the hand blender really does um, increase your depth of colour as well. It's like blooming colour in bath bombs. Uh, the hand blender dissolves it much better. This blender's got a funny sound to it. I know, that one was okay. doing it again. I wonder if it's on its way out. to stir them all and scrape off any soap that's stuck to the sides and the bottom so you see this is a little time consuming the more colours you use And I have to say, this soap actually came about by accident. Yesterday, when I made the uh, cola bottle pour, um, I did this and I used a different fragrance. So the, some of the colours set up a lot faster uh, than others. And so the pour actually didn't work the first time I tried. But I made a soap with it and it, it was so beautiful. I'm making it again today, only I'm making a bigger batch this time. The size of this batch is actually um, one and a half times the size of a batch that I usually do. And I'm hoping that it's going to fill uh, that slab mould over there right to the top. So luckily, we've still got plenty of time with these colours because the one I poured yesterday, the soap was, it definitely wasn't soap on a stick, um, but it, it was thickening up quite rapidly uh, and it wasn't, it was thicker than what these are now. So luckily, this fragrance is giving me plenty of time to do what I want to do with it. Right, 
and there's our black so I am going to let these thicken up ever so slightly and then I'm going to pour them all right here we go so first up is the black not all of the black of course but literally all I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and down the mould like this which is what I did with that batch yesterday Just such a simple technique. I'm just hoping I haven't got too much soap here. But I have got another log mould, but I just want to make the height on this really as high as I can Right, so let's let's scrape out these colours that we've got left and just drizzle them on the top. I love to watch people doing this. It's definitely full. Probably a little bit too much so, but I'm going to get it all in. I 
actually I'm thinking I'm just going to give it a swirl first and then add a bit more on so I'm just going to take a, a thick spoon end I love watching people do this as well. Just drizzle a bit more of that black on there. And we'll do a kebab stick squirrel. Squirrel. Swirl. got this spatula but I'm not that keen on it to be honest it's too big it's uh, didn't look as big on the website so I bought two stupidly I also bought um, a pink whisk two two pink whisks I bought two of these two pink whisks and then there's another spatula which is even bigger than this one but yeah the whisk didn't come right shall I do something about all that soap that slopped around the end what can I do I guess this might be handy for that. Now, I did put some gold on the other one yesterday. Uh, but I don't think, I don't know, what shall I do? Shall I? I think I sprinkled the gold on too late, didn't I? So, yeah, I'll sprinkle it on now. So I've just got gold mica actually in a salt pot. I think it'll work better actually like this. And I don't know whether just to let it thicken up a little bit more before I give it a... No, oh, it's all right. Yes, it's better adding the mica while the soap is still runny. did it the other way as well I think I did it like 
like that. Yes, it looks nice. It's that pale pink and black that looks so beautiful and gold with it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So what day is it today? Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? So it's wet soap Tuesday. I feel like I want to do it again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of a textured top. Okay, so I'm using the end of a really thick paintbrush here. I wonder if I should do it that way. No? Oh look, it works better if you go that way. And we'll see what she looks like cut tomorrow. Right, it's now the next day. So I made this in the afternoon yesterday. And it's 12 midday today. So I'm a little bit nervous because... I've never made one of these full and I'm just hoping the design inside looks really really cool so it actually took seven and a half kilos of soap to fill this mold and I really want like a tall and skinny soap so I think I think we're going to get it I just need to make sure I don't get them the wrong way around this and this needs to be the end that's actually facing us in the slice of soap so I need to work out how many slices to get to make it look tall and thin it could do with being a bit taller but I think we'll just get away with it <clears throat> now I've stuck I've stuck this mould in to the wooden mould. I stuck the 
silicon mold into the wooden mold so it's going to take a little bit of getting out I wonder if I should just stand it up like this there we are that's how to do it move you away a bit so you can actually see what I'm doing oh oh the, the colors are gorgeous Now already I've forgotten, oh no, actually it's good, I can tell by the way the peaks are going. If they were going that way, then I'd have to slice the mould up this way, but they're going this way, so I know that this end and that end is the correct end, so let me just spin it around so you can see. cool isn't it I love that pale pink with the gold and the black it's just gorgeous okay let's cut this then Colours are absolutely gorgeous. Love them. Black always looks nice in soap though. And it smells divine. Nice and peppery and spicy. It is beautiful, even that way. I hope cutting it the other way is going to be better, but we'll soon find out. Pink's gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely pale pastel pink like that. It just sh shows how you can make two totally different soaps with the same colours because these are the same colours that I used in my cola bottle video. And a link to that is in the top right hand corner of the video right now. But you might want to continue watching this video. I absolutely adore this. It's gorgeous. That's the back and that's the front. Okay, so I'm going to use my other soap cutter. And I'm just going to clean this up first and I really like to use this 
So we're just going to clean this up first. And I like to use these uh, Johnson's makeup wipes. They're really, really good for cleaning everything down. Because it's, it's not a good idea to wash your wooden moulds a lot. Because obviously the water absorbs into the, into the wood. Uh, and it becomes decrepit much faster than if you if you don't add water. They just get all soggy and soggy and nasty if you keep washing them. And obviously, you want them to last as long as possible because these things are not cheap these days. And then just. Dry it off, dry it off with some kitchen towel. I like the, the Plenty kitchen towel brand. It's my favourite kitchen roll. It's expensive though, but you get what you pay for, don't you? Okay, time to cut. Now this slider, it just slides over enough to get a nice wide bar. Not as tall as I would like, but how gorgeous is that? That is an absolutely beautiful looking soap. And what I absolutely love about slab moulds is you get the design on the side as well. That's what is so special about slab moulds that you don't get with a log mould so I love the size of those obviously this is the end piece so the end piece does look different on those slices I'm just going to weigh that one 184 so that's about spot on really because it will shrink a little bit beautiful I'm very happy with this one as you can tell I, I can tell the photos are going to be gorgeous as well So I haven't quite got that right, but um, that is so gorgeous. It's probably just because it's different to what I usually do colour-wise. <clears throat> and obviously the pink and the gold is something I do quite often. Gosh, there's some gorgeous formations in there. I know I've started saying if you create, recreate anything that I'm making in any of my videos, please tag me on Instagram. I love to see what you're up to.
just show you that side. Hope you don't mind me showing you every single slice like this. I'm not fast forwarding through the cutting this time, which is something I often do. I just thought you might want to see every slice as I'm cutting it. interested to see how many slices I get out of it as well. Very dramatic. I will definitely be doing more of these, this style. And this is the last log. See, that's the back and that's the side so it would still be nice even if you weren't cutting through these ones feel a bit chunkier I think they're just a little bit wider than the others I was thinking, it's maybe a bit early yet to, to mention this, um, but I'm going to start doing a sample pack. I just need to remember in my head to cut the sample sizes, which this would be a good size for a sample pack of, say, six different soaps. Um, might be something I do around about Christmas time. And then if people like them, um, we could do them all year. Now this cutter, um, this shiny side is great for cleaning but it does have this textured side here and it's really hard to get, get the mess off there because it's like, it's like, um, like sandpaper almost. So it might look a little bit better there but when it dries it won't because all of the wet wipe will just stick to it. But 
but what I love about this cutter is it doesn't take up much space like the other cutter does. You know when things just go so well with your sort making that it just makes you so excited and so happy. I am absolutely in love with this soap and I'm going to make more in different colours. It's absolutely stunning. So, so gorgeous. And really such a simple technique. You know what they say, the simple techniques are always the best. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and keep watching because we'll have another video coming up very very soon from Eden's Secret. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Place a comment in the description box below to win one of these beautiful soaps. I'll choose a winner in around about a month's time. It's open worldwide too. Bye bye for now.